what is going on guys welcome to my channel my name is nelson in this video i want to show you four ways of you making extra money as a programmer so you know why not making extra money if you have a job then why not earn a bit of income you know just to pay for example your bills or your phone bill or go on holidays or you know you know treat yourself why not right so there are four ways i'm going to teach you and hopefully you'll see that they can be really powerful and anyone can do it to be honest so if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe and also smash the like button so i can keep on recording videos like this without further ado let's get started so the very first way that i want to share with you on how to make money as a programmer is by doing some freelancing work so this is when you have some skills that you want to sell to other people so you see there are a lot of people that need software to be built and you i'm pretty sure that you have so many skills that you can you know apply for jobs where people need you to build software so you have um you know platforms such as upwork or fiverr so this is where you go and you see a list of projects and you can um, pretty much just bid for those projects now the cool thing here is that there is no boss so you are your own boss and also you can freelance while you have your job so you can do um, some extra cash on the side while having a steady incoming coming from um, your, your job right and I would say also um you have the opportunity here to work with really big companies such as microsoft uh, google airbnb and others right so those sometimes they need uh, stuff to to be done from uh, freelancers and you can get a chance to work on those projects so the the thing here with uh, with with freelancing so one of the the, the drawbacks is there is a lot of competition trust me there is a lot of competition and especially you know people from india sometimes they they cut down on 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 prices and so for example if you charge for example a thousand pounds for a website they might charge 100 pounds so you can see you know the 90 percent drop down there which is which is which is um you know quite quite annoying right um also you need to to have you know the discipline and you, you need to you know that you know for you to be a, a freelancer you need to have the discipline you need to have the mindset to go full on so this is something to bear in mind right and also um as i said if you work for google or microsoft sometimes it can be really difficult to to grab those clients or not just google microsoft but you know other you know high paying clients sometimes can be very difficult to to grab those now the second way for you to make money online is by attending um i would say coding contests and agathons so this is where you can gain real prizes right so we've got companies uh, such as top coder and uh, go even google right so google they have these coding challenges where they offer prizes now the thing with uh, these coding contests and agathons is not something that should be your top priority because it's not you know 100 reliable and the income doesn't come um you know um as steady as the other ones that i'm about to show you right so just you know know that it's there uh, and also the, the the really benefit of you attending this context um, and, and boot camps is that you get to socialize with other people right the same with freelancing you get to network and socialize with other people and this opens the doors to many opportunities right opens doors to many opportunities if you're young you got the time definitely do it definitely do it now the third way for you to make money online is by selling online courses yes online courses now you might be saying nelson look selling online courses i don't know much what should i sell 
look, you are clever. Let me just tell you that. If you don't know, you are clever. And, you know, if someone says that you don't know enough, then, you know, get back strong and just realize that you know a lot. And there is something in you that you can teach others. There is something in you that you can teach others. You can, look, there are so many ideas. Just imagine, for example, in your own language, right? You might learn from my courses and you know that, you know, people, for example, might not have, uh, you know, the, the, the understanding or, um, you know, the means of learning programming, then why not just teach in your own, you know, little um, uh, area, right? In your society, right? Why not just say, you know what, I'm going to charge, you know, something peanuts where, you know, people come in the morning and learn programming, for example, right? It's one way of making money. Right? There are many ideas, many ideas. Or you can learn from my courses or any other courses, and then you can recall the exact same course, right, with a different flavor, but in your own language, right? Or stuff that you do at work that you think it's interesting and you've never seen it, you can teach online. Teach online. It's huge, right? And also with um, uh, with teaching and selling online courses. It doesn't have to be programming. It could be anything that you want, anything that you want, right? And that brings me to the point that it's not just, um, you know, videos that I'm saying, but also writing, like blogging, right? You've seen, you know, there are huge platforms where they have these little tutorials and on the side, you see that they have these little ads, right? So there are companies that are making tons of money just by doing that. So why not doing the same, right? I would love to have someone that could, uh, you know, write blogs for all of my courses. Maybe if you don't work with me, drop me a message and who knows, right? We can work together and you can make some extra cash. So blogging, it's, um, you know, encourage, uh, I do encourage you to, to do it again in your own language or English, it doesn't matter right it doesn't matter just just bring some ideas and see how you can you can find um you know a, a gap and you can fill it right there are many gaps that can be filled so i'm pretty sure that you are clever and you will find a way the final um way of making money online um, is actually youtube right youtube it's an amazing platform for you to make money online so there are ways uh you might think in oh you know the, the main uh you know stream stream of revenue is ad revenue right which for youtube it is right but youtube opens you know opportunities and doors for other works right for other works because now if you are a content creator you've got companies paying you to promote their product or their brand, right? You become an influencer, right? And people can pay you money. Let's say, you know, companies pay you 200 pounds for 30 seconds, just intro saying, you know what, uh, you know, check this brand using my code, yada, yada, yada. Just imagine if you do like five of those a month, that's a thousand pounds charging 200, then you can charge 300, 400, five, six. You can have a long-term deal, right? It's, it's, it, it goes crazy, it goes crazy, right? So these are, you know, the four ways of you making money online. Uh, think about it and, you know, I feel like, you know, everyone deserves the opportunity and we need content creators, guys. We need content creators. So these are, you know, four ways, but there are other ways. But I feel like these are some of the ways that you should uh, starting as a programmer. So let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, if you have any, any, any ideas, you know, let me know because I'll be curious to know your ideas. And also if you have anything that you want me to talk about next, drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to record a video. This is all for now. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording videos like this. This is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.